Hello, uh, I'm Iris Chu. I'm a reader in laws at the UCL Faculty of Laws. Today, the course I'm going to talk to you about is the regulation of financial markets. This course is a full-length course running from October to March, so the teaching runs across two terms, and I'm the module convener of this course. Now, the regulation of financial markets is part of the banking and finance specialism. It deals with the regulation and governance frameworks for the investment sector. So by this, we refer to investment activities such as securities offerings, uh, collective investment vehicles, market conduct, uh, and the regulation of investment firms. This course does not cover uh, banking-related activities or services, and neither does it deal with insurance issues. Uh, there are other courses uh, in the LM program uh, that deal with these aspects, such as banking law or insurance law. Now, the starting point in this course is that investment activity ought to be governed. Of course, one may argue that investment activities should be subject to the free market, and that government regulation would only provide distortions in this area. However, we are looking at uh, the rationale from economic analysis as well as public interest as to why investment activity ought to be governed. Uh, we will be engaging with these discussions at a fairly detailed and substantive level and this sets the general tone of the course. The Regulation of Financial Markets course will focus on the regulatory frameworks in the UK and the EU. In this area, the law has been subject to extensive harmonisation in the EU and therefore most of the sources of law referred to will be European regulations or directives. We may make uh, references to international comparisons or comparisons with the US where relevant. Uh, in some years, we may have guest lecturers from across the Atlantic who may provide perspectives uh, on the US side of things. However, the schedule does change from year to year. Uh, and what is staple about this course is that it does focus on only the UK and the EU side of things. Uh, and any offering on discussions relating to the US market would be uh, subject to availability of guest lecturers in any one given year. This course is heavily statute-based, we'll be engaging directly with the primary legislation in the UK and the EU, and we'll be dealing extensively with the PRA and the FCA handbooks. Now, uh, it has to be noted that uh, uh, much reference will be made to official papers and underlying policy discussions relating to the law and regulation in financial markets. We'll be assigning readings in case law wherever relevant. However, many aspects of this course will feel like public or administrative law rather than the private law of civil obligations. Uh, in other words, this course also does not deal with purely transactional aspects of international finance, as the legal aspects of international finance would be the course that is most suitable for dealing with uh, such subject matter. The Regulation of Financial Markets course is taught largely by myself uh, and a couple of guest lecturers. Um, the list of guest lecturers that may be offered from a year-to-year -year basis may change depending on the availability of guest speakers. The Regulation of Financial Markets course is assessed by an open book examination, which means that you will be able to bring in uh, all sorts of printed material that you desire into the examination venue. Uh, this course uh, will be assessed by an unseen written three-hour examination in the Easter term. Thank you for watching the general outline and scope of this course. I hope that you enjoy your course selection process and I hope to see you on this course. Thank you.